Alrighty, fellas, welcome to my brand new supermarket. Now, I heard my buddy Komodo Gaming also opened his own supermarket like last week. But I'm thinking, and hear me out on this, I'm going to open my own, okay? And that way, we have a little bit of friendly competition going on. We'll motivate each other to be the best grocery stores ever. But first things first, I got to order goods using my computer. Here's my computer over here. Let me just go ahead to the market, I presume. And, okay, cereal be expensive, y'all, but we're gonna get that one. We're gonna get some sliced bread, flour, oil, pasta, and sugar powdered. And we're gonna order all of that right now. I can't afford all this. All right, instead of that, we're gonna get cereal and flour. Purchase that, that should be on the way. I have $5 left and I can't buy anything else. That cereal was a lot of money. Oh, and here it is, it already arrived. Talk about good service, y'all. This is what I'm talking about here. So I think maybe it goes like this. The flower goes there. I don't know what to do with this box. Does anybody want a box? Hello? Wanna, we'll put the box in the street. Okay, we'll come back for that later. I don't know if that's a bad idea, but I'm thinking the cereal gonna have its own designated shelf. Over here, this is a chalk pick. It's a strong chocolate cereal here. Oh wait, hold up. Oh, the box goes in there. All right, next up on the list here, we have to set our price here. These cereals sell for about, oh, this flour, I'm sorry, sell for 79 cents. Let's go ahead and raise that up. We're gonna try $1. That makes, I make a 21 cent profit every time that sells. For the cereal here, we're gonna go for $4, y'all. I don't know if that's too much or not, but we're gonna try it out. Let's open the store, boom. Hello, Gumi Supermarket, open for duty. Go ahead and buy the cereal. That's my most expensive cereal I got. Can you put a little bag? Two boxes, sir? Okay, we got a hungry young man. And a flower too? Two flowers and two cereals? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Interact with the counter. Scan the products. Oh. Ma'am, calm down with the cereal. He handed me one, $240. What? <laughs> he had him at $240, my man. What are you doing? Okay, I gotta give him a change. He needs $40. Okay. One, two. Um, that's good. How do I? You're done. Here you go. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. All right. Oh, she paid with a card? Okay, her total is $10, so I think I'll put in $10. Oh my goodness. Dude, I got so many shoppers coming in. God, they already bought all the flour. Okay, uh, change? None. Okay, she's playing with card. This time? Okay, so her total is $2. I'm gonna put in $5,800.00. Okay, you have you can't scam people. Okay, I, I had to try it. All right, man, love your ponytail. By the way, come back soon. Watch those high heels. You're walking kind of funny. You're gonna have to get your back checked out. You might have scoliosis. I'm not sure what's going on with your posture. Why you come back though? You forget some? You forgot two boxes of cereal? Okay. All right, you pay a card again? Okay. Keep it at the same. It's gonna be $8. All right, ma'am, make sure you go to the chiropractor, okay? We're gonna have to get that back checked out. You walking a little bit weird. Okay. She fine, though. She, it's, it's okay. How much money do I got? I got $37. I should buy some more stuff. All right, my new stuff should be outside. I got like oils and all kind of delicious, nutritious stuff. More flour as well. Hold on, ma'am, I'll be right with you, okay? I'm a little busy. I'm just trying to stock my shelves here. I know you understand that. I got some, you want to get some panzinis? I now sell panzinis. Get out of here. Okay, and I got the oils goes right underneath the, the pasta. Okay, we should be good. Coming, so down. And you're going to be paying with cash today. You had me $240 as well. Your change, $12. All right, I just got to set the price on all this stuff real quick. So I'm going to try to get away with $201. Oh, wait, no. $2 in one set. Profit $1, two. I don't know what I can get away with. Ma'am, hold on. I'm not done. I didn't, I didn't put the price on this yet. She's scamming. Hold on. Stop buying stuff, guys. I haven't put the prices yet. Okay. Maybe the price, wait, hold on. If they pick it up and then I set the price, do I get to keep the final price? 
All right, I think we got a pretty good flow going on right now. It says I need to check out 25 people, but I know we can upgrade this place. I'm thinking, and hear me out, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and kick down this wall, that wall, and this wall. We're gonna kick it all down. And we're just gonna expand it. I'm also thinking about edging out these curves here. I don't like corners like this. I want it to be rounded. I think that'd be very slick. Maybe even a paint the place, sir. You know I have any paint stores around here? We go for the oil, huh? I really upcharged you on that one, guy. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think you should be buying this. It's very expensive. He gave me perfect change. All right, just out of curiosity, this is some of the stuff we can upgrade. So product license, so we get more products to sell. Oh my goodness, there is a lot of, <laughs> holy moly. The last product license is $65,000? Bills, I don't have any of that growth. This is how we expand the place out. We can't do this yet either. We can hire employees, more storage, and customization ain't here. Okay, hold up, someone already. Sir, can't you see I'm busy over here talking to my audience? Come on now. Give me that freaking $500,000. Alrighty, I have more cereal. I increased the price of it another 25 cents. I'm feeling very naughty about that. But we gotta make that money somehow. All right, what's the change? $95. Are you kidding me right now? You serious lady? And 98 cents, you freaking would. Oh my goodness. How much, 98 cents? Oh, okay, uh, jeez Louise, you gotta do math and everything up in here, y'all? No one's buying my cereal. I think maybe the price might be too high. Dude, that's my like last flower, bro. And everyone's using cash today? Pay with card. Uh, I lowered the price of the cereal back to 401. Hopefully people stop buying that again because they, uh, they have not been buying that. Okay, y'all, it is 9 p.m. at night. I went to order more stuff, but the stores are closed, which makes sense. But I'm gonna stay open for one more lucky customer because I'm at 24 out of 25 checkouts. Hopefully one more person comes on through. Maybe this person over here might be a lucky day, guy. Come on open. We're open at Gooby's Supermarket. We sell cereal. Oh. I think I need to finish the day, y'all. I think it's just over. Okay. So let's see here. Our total profits was negative three dot twenty. Wait, I made negative money. Oh, because I bought all this cereal, but I didn't sell any of it. That's why, because the price was too high. All right, here we go. Five dollars and sixty cents here, and boom. Okay, it says product purchase a product license using the computer. Um, I might need to raise my prices a bit because I'm not really making a lot of money, y'all, if I'm being honest. I mean, this stuff is selling, don't get me wrong, but all of that was only $8. I feel like I'm getting ripped off. Man, stop buying the bread. I gotta raise the prices. Bro, my, my, my man knows the prices are uh, uh, steal, so he grabbed me like eight boxes of everything. Okay, this, I, I, okay, hold on, 70, let's do 70 cents there. Okay, I got everything giving me over a dollar profit now. That should help me out a lot because people are just buying all my stuff for basically free. I'm getting ripped off, y'all. I may have bought four boxes of cereals at the low price, but that's still $16. My man got a whole family to feed. Okay, only one box of sugar? Uh, uh okay. Uh, sir, one thing of sugar. Okay, uh, I don't know what's going on now. People all of a sudden not buying anything. Two sugar, two, two, I'm sorry, that was flour, two flowers and a panzini's. Okay, this is something. Couldn't find craft tongue flour. Ma'am, you bought the flour. You bought two things of flour. Freaking psychopath, man. So I actually need $200 to get the first product license. I'm at 54, but I'm kind of running out of stuff pretty quickly. Mm. I don't know if I should buy more groceries or save up my money. I don't know what the right thing to do here. Oh, check this out. I could just take a loan? Yo! Oh, okay, hold on. The longer the term, the more interest I pay on it. So I kinda, no, I take it out for the max days. All right, how do I get my loan though? Did I take it out? I have seven, I have $839, my ma'am. Ma'am, you just bought like 90 pastas. Okay, calm down. I gotta close the store down for a minute here. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to buy and upgrade now. Oh, geez. You know what, keep the five cent change. I don't even care. What you got, you got some susu? We got a perfect change. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Guys, now hold on. The light's off. Slow down. Everybody calm down. Everybody come. Guys, we're out of food. Remember, you don't even have anything. You just here to complain? What's going on? $97? 
Let me do all this math? Are you kidding me, lady? I gave her an extra penny. You bought my last one. Sir, we don't have any products. Get out of my store. All right, let me close this place up. Let me close this place up. Now, I don't know if, if I can upgrade at night, but we gonna try to get the product license? Okay, we got that. We still have $600 left too. We can get a lot of stuff here, y'all. Um, Can't hire anybody yet. Oh, geez. So we really can't buy a lot. We need to level up our store a bit. But our new license gives us more market stuff we could buy. Look at all the stuff we get. Cheeses and milks. Now, that sounds pretty good. All right, hear me out. A little pricey. But I'm thinking here, Fridge B and a Spotlight. I don't think we need another checkout counter yet. But let me go back. Let me get some cereals now because cereals be a hot commodity. People be buying that. Let's get some milk. It's not go too crazy here. Get a little bit of everything, maybe. All right, I'm down to thirty-four dollars, but I got one major purchase. You guys like my trash out here, by the way? I'm keeping my trash out there for funsies. All right, I think I'm gonna start throwing this stuff away though, because it's kind of hard to tell what box has products and which one doesn't. I was gonna try to build a cat fort, but I can see this is gonna get. Why well, he's putting in the street for now? No reason to throw away a perfectly good box. All right, check it out. I got my refrigerator. And I think I can just put it... Oh, it's a double refrigerator. That's right, I forgot. Should I have it at the front door, maybe? I think that'd be pretty good. Because sometimes people maybe walk in because the sun's really hot walking. I mean, I'm thirsty. Oh, a nice crisp Sprite cranberry up in here. And then, you know, they'd be very excited about that. So I think I'm going to put some milk in there first. There we go. Got this place full. Perfect. Oh, this is great. More milk? I got two boxes of milk, apparently. Okay, here we go. Trust me, y'all. This is gonna pay off big time. More milk. I guess I got this. I guess I got a lot of milk. They didn't realize I bought so much milk. Well, that's good that we have this much milk because if you look over here, I also bought too much cereal as well. So, it's fine. And this is a spotlight for the roof. We'll put it right in the center. Pretty good. We got some bottles of water gonna go on the top shelf here. This is a top shelf class A water. Very classy. And then I also have, oh wait. I could fill that up with water, but I have cheese. I think the cheese has got going here for a little bit more variety, maybe. Okay, I think we're set to open the place up. Now I'm missing a lot of the normal stuff like the susu. But that's okay, because we added a bunch of new stuff. Every single thing in here is giving me exactly $1 of profit. I don't know if I can get away with more. Maybe I should try. You know what, for the milk, let's just kick it up to a $2 profit. Let's just see what happens. Because I'm kind of curious. He will right by the milk. Going straight for that cereal, isn't he? Oh, he's going for a nice two loaf of bread. My man got two loaves up in there. He making some kind of weird, big old sandwich. Maybe a ham sandwich. Guys, we have we sell we sell drinks now too. Go ahead to the, the drink to go, okay? Okay, two cereals, that's fine. I'll take that. Hold up, my man buying something. He bought some waters and cheese. Okay. I like the cheese purchase. I'm noticing no one getting any milk though. Maybe I have to uh Maybe I have to lower the price of the milk a little bit. I'm not sure on that one. Okay, I lower the price of the milk. Still no one buying the milk though. Buy some bread, ma'am. Need help getting out off the top shelf? Now you got that? Three loaves? Four loaves, my lady? What are you doing over there? You open a bakery? A bread? Breadery? That, you, you make a lot of grilled cheese sandwiches is what's going on. That's crazy. Oh my goodness, my man bought his first thing of milk. You are the number one customer, sir. Two waters, some cheese, and some bread? $12, y'all, and 73 cents. My money is actually going up. And of course she ruins it by buying one flower. Okay. It says to purchase a new section using your computer to expand your store. Growth? $350? Oh, snaps. And it expands it by four by four? So four that, or four this way and four that way? Okay. Yes. We got to be expanding this place soon, y'all. So every time I end a day, I end up with a total profit of negative money. 
<laughs> okay, okay. Market prices change for the following produce. Okay, so I got some coffee. So I think I have to lower. The market price is 839. I'm selling it for, wait, hold on. Is this correct? Do I keep it at this? I guess I keep it there. Do I follow what the market price is or do I go above that? I don't really know. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go above the market price, not the average cost. So if I do like seven. Oh, does that make more sense? Oh, okay, that made way over the market price. Let's do that. Y'all, I think I've been ripping myself off. I haven't been putting in the appropriate numbers, I think. I've been way underselling stuff. That's why I'm struggling so much. Oh, I get it a little bit now. All right, all the prices have been increased pretty dramatically here. So we'll see if anyone comes in and buys this stuff. Uh, everything used to be like a dollar to two dollars. Now everything is like four to seven dollars. That over there, that coffee, that's just under nine dollars. That's some expensive coffee. Is he going for it? He bought one bottle of, water, of milk. Let's see how much money I make. Four dollars. Now we're talking. This guy said the milk is too expensive. Okay, so the milk is too expensive. So we'll go ahead and lower that to $380. Okay. And everything else people are buying. So if people complain, let me look. Are he good? No one's complaining yet? Milk still too expensive, really? Okay. $18, are you serious? All right, a few people are saying the milk and the cheese are both too expensive. So we got to go ahead and lower that price. But this uh, coffee, that not too expensive? Hmm, a little weird that you spend all your money on coffee. But, you know, in my life, I just do what I got to do to make a living over here, you know? All right, let's go ahead and lower this one to, let's do, wait, he just bought the cheese. Okay, well, let's do 390. We'll lower it a little bit. And the milk, no one's buying the milk. So we'll try to drop that down to three. 55. There we go. That should help sell some of the produce a little faster. Hello? Customers, come in here, please. Buy my stuff, sir. You look like a man who wants some milk and cereal. Go ahead, straight to the cereal aisle, let me guess. He's going for the coffee, isn't he? I'm down for that. Take two boxes? There you go, three boxes? Oh, okay. Not feeling that bold today, are we? It is a little pricey. In this economy, that's $17.98, sir. Couldn't find less benzoy. Well, how about you go down the street to somewhere else and get your... Oh, sorry, man. I did Sorry. I don't treat all my customers like that. You look mad. Are you mad at me? Be honest. Ma'am, do you hate me? It's okay. People still be saying the milk is too expensive? What, you want me to give it away for free? Just... I, I mean... You know what? I will lower it down again because no one's buying the milk. I'm, I'm... Oh, I am way over market price now. Did it change? Hold up. Let's go 290. That's right over market value. Bottle water too expensive. It is a little pricey, isn't it? I do agree with that. Let's go a little bit over the market price. My man just bought one loaf of bread for five dollars and one penny. And he has the freaking audacity to basically hand me a hundred dollar bill. Who in the right mind would do this? And 99 cents, so I got oh. Jeez, child, I'm getting... Mm, oh, and I gave him one. Ah, uh -uh, you ain't get that extra penny. You get Zach change. There you go. All right, pay with the card. She paid. Okay. Y'all, listen. I'm getting heated. How much is it? Nine to seven? You get exact change. I used to give people an extra penny. No more. Oh, card? Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. It's, it's late at night. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and shut the store down. Bop, we're closed. It's time. It's freaking time. Section two. Hold on, let's take one last look at it. Looks good. Looks small, but look good. Boom. Oh, whoa. Okay, how do I move this entire, oh. Push it all back, push it all back, y'all. Are these double-sided? These are not double-sided shelves. Okay, we have just made amazing progress in our place this is freaking excellent y'all this is so good so much extra extra room for activities now and stuff all right fellas i think we're gonna wrap up this one here thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see more supermarket let me know down in the comments below drop a like on the video 
and I'll be sure to do more of that. And before y'all head out, if y'all looking for more videos, make sure to check out my second channel, Dark OB, which is linked down in the description.